This is the Calibron 12 puzzle. The object is to take the pieces and fit them into the large opening of the puzzle. There is only one solution, and it is very difficult to find. It may look very easy, but don't be fooled. On the Creative Craft House website, it's listed at the highest difficulty, at 5 out of 5. Still in the plastic packaging. This, this right here is actually a description of the puzzle. Um, and if you flip over the paper, it has the solution uh, on it. Fred says, now we want math. I got, no, I want math, and, and school is over, no math. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go with AJ on this one and, and say no math. All right, I'm not going to lie to you guys here. There was a lot more math than I thought it would be. Math equals big brain, boys. That's kind of nice. Sorry, I didn't really get a chance to clean off this area. I might actually move the mat over so that we're working just straight on the wood. Nah, we're going to keep the mat on. All right. Let's pop this baby open. Boop. Come on. I don't want to damage the wood because it's such a nice puzzle. Okay, let's read off this real quick before we get started. I'm even holding up so that you guys can see it a little bit better. The Calibron 12 puzzle. <laughs> Object. Fit all the pieces in the large square opening. There's only one solution, and it is very difficult to find. We package this puzzle unsolved, but the solution is provided below. Originally designed in 1933 by Theodore Edison, son of the famous inventor Tom Edison, and made by his company Calibron Products of West Orange, New Jersey. Our version is made from precision cut woods with at least four different woods in each puzzle. Ash, maple, walnut, oak, mahogany, birch, cherry, alder, and other words may be, woods may be used. Made in USA Creative Craft House, Spring Hill, Florida. Oh, there's that. Fine mahogany, indeed. Okay, let's, let's pull up a... Uh... Pull up a stopwatch right here. Just gonna keep that in the corner. No, no real rush. It's just nice to, to have a little track of the time that that we're running here. Wow, this is like really, sort of is really snug to it. Oh wow, dude. Honestly, like, I didn't think the wood would feel as nice as it did. So the nice thing about these is you could see that each of the puzzle pieces actually has a measurement. So you could kind of, I mean, like honestly. You could probably do this and just kind of math it all through. So, I mean, let's let's see what we got working with here. We got 221 by 14s right there. We have 32 by 11, a 32 by 10, which is slightly shorter. 11 and 10. 28 by 6, 28 by 7. Kind of the same type of thing there. 21 by 18, 21 by 18. So these are... Duplicates as well. Uh, 10 by 7, 14 by 14, 28 by 14, 17 by 14. Anything that's the same? We got 28s here. So those, those match up. By 14s there. These are by height. So kind of want to match them up. If I could find things that are similar by by either height or width... I think that'll be nice to kind of like add to or like like put them beside each other to to be similar um because then they'll they'll probably kind of go flush with each other this is a 10 by 7 this this piece is just separate on its own do, doing its own thing here okay let's i mean let's let's just try and do something here so since these are kind of the same height i want to see okay if go, going across it just doesn't fit there um maybe is is the puzzle is it perfectly like like square you know that's that's my my real question let's see if we could like get it flush and like get the measurement of just how big it is wink maybe a couple of these will fit it oh that looks just about there so it seems to be across it seems to be 21 plus 7 uh, so 28 plus 28, 56 across, about 56 across, and then I'm guessing it's going to be the same thing up and down. Um, yeah, about the same thing up and down. So it, so it is a square. We could tell you that for sure now. Will this be? Yeah, see that that definitely like it doesn't look like it would fit because there's there's a little bit of a gap. We want to use up as much space as possible to try and get 
you know, get it flush. So I think my strategy here is try to get a side done and then a corner matching that. So like right here, we'll, we'll see if is there anything. Oh, there we go. So maybe we'll use other 21s here to try and like fill out this this corner. Something here. Let's let's do the math here. 21, 21, 21. So that's 43. So if this is 56 across, I need something that's 13. Do I have anything 13 to solve here? Oh, you know what? What if we do 21 by 14? So now it's what what are we do? Do we have enough tenors to fit? Oh, 12. 12 by 10. Cool. We're we're starting to get somewhere. I think we might be a little bit stuck. Oh. Is the job hold on. They just all need to fit in here. Do you think it'll be an exact measurement? Like, hold on, let's we just kind of stuff a few in here. Ah, yeah, see? We're we're stuck at this point. So I think we got a little bit lost on this part right here. Probably do something better than this. I think I have the wrong side going on right now. So we're going to rework this corner because it seems like the other solutions to fill in around there. Still can't avoid math, so that's nice, <laughs> right? There's always going to be at least a little bit of math. Because the point is, I mean, puzzles are logic. And the, the logic to solve puzzles... It typically just ends up becoming math, uh, just due to the uh, just just the nature of it. Trying to just be as efficient with my space as possible. That doesn't seem like the solution. Um, logic doesn't need math, but math needs logic. It's the other way around. It it's they're so closely related because math needs logic that it it helps to sometimes feed one into the other. Maybe we work with the smaller pieces instead of the bigger ones first. You know, as much as I want to just use the smaller pieces to fill in the gaps, maybe it makes more sense to figure out what small pieces will go together to create a section. I don't know. I feel like that's not the right way to do it. Maybe that'll be a, a later try at it all. Let's let's try one of these longer pieces in the corners instead. All right? Let's let's try let's try the biggest long piece right there. 32. So we're looking for 24. Anything 24 here? Nothing in exact 24. Maybe a 14 and a 10. I know I have a 10. There you go. 14 and a 10. And then we'll 14 across. We have a lot of 14 stuff. But I, I kind of want to just work in the 14s where I can. That's looking like kind of a, a solid shape there. I feel like with a, a little bit of wiggliness here. A little concerning. I'm 56. I don't know. Let's, let's have it not be perfectly snug. And maybe it'll just work for us oh wow look at that oh wow oh my gosh no way dude Ugh. are you guys seeing this everything in there and this tiny little square right here oh my gosh dude Look how so close that was. I was feeling so confident in it, too. It was a bigger gap than it was before. I think we're on to something with this, though. If I treat this as one piece. These two are probably going to go together to create an ordinary shape. I still want to use these together because I think that's the only way that these will be flush. And I want to use these together because that's the only thing, only way that I think those will work as well. Um, I 
This is like a 30 gap. Hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. I almost want to like put it into a corner to try and just get that to work. You know? Like suck this into a corner somewhere. I kind of gave up on the math of it all, but I feel like giving up on the math of it all is just losing. <laughs> Can we put these two together? I feel like I'm getting somewhere though. I feel like I'm getting somewhere. No. I feel like this isn't the solution. Okay. Let's rework this. Let's, let's take inventory once again. I'm going to do something weird here. I'm going to take my big squares, I'm going to put them all in the corners, and see if that solves something for me. this to work so hard. <gasps> it won't fit. Oh my god, it's just one too tall. Look how perfect that is. This is what I'm talking about. Every single, like, every single cubic centimeter of this is to be used. Because look at that. Because it's a little loose on this side. Because it's a little loose here. That space is made up right here. I feel like we're, we're like almost there, you know? We're like, we're that close. The solution does not have gaps. It will, it will perfectly fill it out. As we just saw from, from our last example. It wasted one hour and 20 minutes for this puzzle. I mean, what'd you call it? Wasting it? I enjoy doing puzzles, man. It's like saying, oh, you wasted an hour playing Warzone today. I like that. You wasted an hour playing CS. It's not wasting it for me because I enjoy doing puzzles. These are difficult puzzles out here, man. You, you know what the painful thing is? There's a solution on the back side of this paper. There's a, a there's a solution on the other side of it. And it's just teasing me. Like you could even see it says solution right there on the folded part. The solution right down there at the bottom. And so if I if I flip it over, full, nope. It'll tell me exactly how to solve this. I I like the excitement of 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 you know trying to solve it. You know, working my way through the logic of it. What I think is right, the only thing that I'm I'm pretty sure is right, are these three pieces going along a side. What if it doesn't go along a side? Flip this over to the other side. Maybe the new perspective will, will just show us what we've been looking for, you know?
Fuck this, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> I feel like this is the only thing that I haven't tried. Like... Me, Madman, and Nate are all in a VC working on this, having a race. Dude, if any of you guys solve it before me, please, please. I, I'm not asking for a solution, but, like, just let me know that it's possible, you know? Give me some hope. <gasps> oh! Yo! Oh my god! That's a W right there, people. That's a W right there. I'm happy to end it with that puzzle. That was a tough one. I've I've done a lot of puzzles before, and this this is a tough one right here. Calibron 12, officially cleared. Oh man, dude, it feels so good. It feels so good. Oh my god. Uh, it all fits. Look at that beautiful wood. Two hours, 12 minutes, 49 seconds. Dude, that's... Dude, that took a minute. That took... That took 132 minutes. That took... <laughs> Calibron 12. I mean, you know, you, you, you can't have... It, it can't all be easy. <laughs> Guys, Calibron 12. Solved. At, at some point, I just kind of sat here, and I was just kind of, like, staring at it. And, I like, I, I scrolled Discord. I was like, dude, maybe I just need a mental reset. I think once we, we like, stop dealing with this piece, it, it started coming out easier. This So, I, like, I kind of worked in a spiral. You know, I I was like, I was like, okay, like, let's, let's work that solution AJ had. And I just kind of, like, did the math here. I was like, yo, I I never like I haven't used this piece before. So let's let's stick this in here. I think these like this whole section here kind of got flipped a few times. You know? But then once I once I was like, yo, let's just let's just try this. Cause I think this is the only thing I haven't tried to fit in with this this 10 piece. Cause this is like this was base piece for me. This is what I've been working off of pretty much the whole way through. Uh and then once once I just gave it a try i was like okay i guess this fits in which would mean you know this simple thing well it wasn't so simple because i like jumped between a bunch of 14 pieces all over the place it took me a little bit to get to this i think i had to flip these at one point uh and, and then i just kept working around and i was like oh this fits i didn't even realize when when i was at this point right here <laughs> i didn't even realize when i was like i was like does this fit I was like, yeah, I didn't even do the math for it. I just wondered, like, hey, does that fit? Boom, boom. And it just fell. I got so excited. Oh, man. Well, there you have it. There it is, the Calibron 12 puzzle. Honestly, super difficult, but so satisfying to finally get it done. Uh, I, the, the, it, it impressed me. I've done so many puzzles in the past. And as, as simple as this looks, it's just a bunch of blocks. This one took me way longer than i expected it to be i was actually kind of joking with my sister the other day saying like oh yeah this this puzzle looks like you know I'll probably spend maybe 30 minutes on it at most uh but it, i mean it it really whooped me yeah that uh, thank you so much creative craft house for for making this puzzle or building it in in such a beautiful format uh you could check out the the puzzle try it yourself uh, on the website uh, in the description um, or, you know, buy one of your own at, at Creative Craft House's website. Uh, yeah, I, I highly suggest it. And we'll be coming with more videos like this very soon. Uh, we've done a couple of other puzzles on the side, including the Centurion, uh, Double Centurion puzzle, and 
uh, Neil Patrick Harris's Box One. So look out for those videos. They'll be uploaded to the same channel. I'm super excited to see what you guys think about this. And if you try this out, tell me what your time was, how long it took you to get this done. Hopefully it's a lot shorter than mine because honestly, I burnt a lot of time through on this one. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Catch you later.